Allie went to go get some coffee, and I was looking online to see if they had like any secret menu stuff. They have a bunch of these secret menu like frappuccinos. This one's a mermaid Butter frappuccino. Beer frappuccino. There's a butterbeer one. Which one? I think you should do the mermaid one. It looks kind of like the unicorn one. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We're gonna be those people that order off the secret menu. Can you guys make the mermaid frappuccino? That one we don't have all the ingredients for. What we've been doing is um, just implementing with the Pokemon Go, I think is the one, and then we add something on top. That sounds great. This is what's beautiful about the daily videos is that after 3,000 days, you kind of wonder what you're gonna do. This is kind of one of those ones that just fell into our lap and we thought it'd be kind of fun. So we're gonna go to as many fast food places or just restaurants and order off the secret menus. We're at Starbucks, we got the Pokemon, mermaid frappuccino, but they don't have all the ingredients, so they called it the Pokemon Go slash mermaid, mermaid frappuccino. So it's the Pokemon mermaid. We're, we're very lame. Oh, what? I know! This is the first time I've ever seen one made! Look at that! Look at that! It's so crazy looking! It almost looks like a Slimer. It's crazy. So this is a mix of This is the Pokemon Go slash Mermaid, mermaid. Frappuccino. You get to try it first. Does it taste like Pokemon Go? And a mermaid mix? It tastes like a straight up milkshake, right? It's really deceiving. You see the green, you see the purple, and you're like, okay, berry matcha-ness. But it's not. It actually tastes pretty good. It tastes like a straight up milkshake. And that's the top. It's got all this green goodness. I just want to taste the whipped cream. Is it weird to do that? I don't know what I was thinking it was going to taste like. Really? I'm not licking your face. All right, so what do we think? Let's do a one to 10 scale. I would give that a seven. Is it mind blowing? You know what it is? It's just so milkshakey. I mean, it's so good. I give this like a, a six because to me, it kind of tastes like a, just like a vanilla milkshake. Let's go to the next restaurant. All right, on to the next place. Taco Bell. And this one apparently has a, it's called the Hulk. All right, we're gonna be pooping all day. I mean, this is gonna go right through us if it's called the Hulk. We're, you know, reading up on this as we go and requesting the Hulk, you're probably gonna get like a really awkward response from them. If they know it, I'm gonna be super surprised. Thank you, Taco Bell. We are gonna order two um, items off your secret menu. Do you know how to make the Incredible Hulk? It's one of we your- We don't have anything called Incredible Hulk. I feel really bad because I don't know what it is, so I'm trying to explain it. So sorry, I know this is such a weird request. All right, does everything look correct? Right? That looks great. Great, pretty good. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, you too. Take care, man. Yes, you did. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. This is called the Incredible Hulk at Taco Bell. You heavy? It's incredibly heavy. Did you get that? It's incredibly heavy. I, you know, I've learned in my life to just ignore her sometimes. It's a five-layer burrito. But instead of nacho the cheese, nacho cheese it's it has guacamole. Guac. Look how huge this thing is. Did you guys see this? I'm gonna bring it close to you guys. Look at that. It's huge. Okay, let's taste it now. What did the judge the hell out of this thing? It's a beast. I feel like with burritos and any Mexican or Taco Bell food, you can't really go wrong. I have a big bite. I'm gonna give that a nine. That was really good. So I'm gonna give the Incredible Hulk a nine score. What about you? I'm gonna have to give it like an eight. An eight? That's, the reason why. That's one of the highest ones. I know. I'm giving it an eight because I feel like it needs something else because it's it's beans, meat, cheese. cheese, and guacamole, and I feel like it needs crunch. You know what you could probably alter it with? You can probably call it Thing. You know, like Marvel's Thing? Mm -hmm. You put a crunchy one in there, and then it would be kind of the color of a thing, and so it would be crunchy. Order that, do the thing. It's a secret menu item that Charles created. I just created this. Next stop, Wendy's. Woo! Got to do some running after this. Yeah, you better believe it. Hi, yeah. welcome to the music I get for you. Hi, how is, how's it going? I'm gonna order two things off the secret menu. The first would be the barnyard burger, and the second would be the uh, meat cube. One second. Okay, certainly. All right, so I have that. Okay, and then the other one is the barnyard burger. All right, anything else for you? No, I think, uh, can I get a water? <laughs> Not a problem. 1484 first with them. All right, thank you. Thanks, man. Take care. Oh, mother of God. This is so heavy. No joke, this bag just got to weigh... Over a pound, because the meat it's alone. It's over a pound. I feel like it weighs at least like three pounds. Three pounds of whatever whatever this is. Now we are trying the meat cube and the ba barnyard. barnyard burger from okay. Wendy's. Oh my God, look at so this. So how do we know which one's which? I'm pretty sure this is the full pound. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, okay, so now this is the barnyard That's definitely burger. the barnyard. So it's got chicken, a beef patty, it has bacon on it. Cheese, and lettuce and tomato. Lettuce Gotta tomato. make it healthy. Yeah, crisp lettuce. Mayo, looks like Swiss or American it's cheese. It's a crisp, fresh lettuce. Yes. It's crazy. 
I mean, you can't say it's bad because there's all those things you would eat normally. Your your conscience says not to do it. It's a mouthful. Yeah, see, that's the only thing is like it's too much at one point. It's not bad. Okay, see? As far as taste goes, I'm gonna say that tastes better than the burrito. It's definitely better than the burrito. So I'm gonna give that a nine right there. I'm gonna... See, would I ever eat that? Now I feel like I need to take back the burrito. The burrito was good for me, but I'm, this is definitely... I feel like the burrito should be a seven. I'm gonna change it to back to a seven. Okay, seven. I feel like if it's eight, nine, or ten, you have to be like blown away. Separately, they'd be good, but all at once... It's a lot. Now right. this one is the grotesque one. This is called the meat cube. And it looks like it. For obvious reasons. It is four, one, two, four patties. So each one of these, I guess, would be quarter pounds. So it's one, four quarter pound burgers on one burger. With crisp lettuce, tomato, onions, ketchup, mayo, cheese, between each patty, by the way, and the large bun. I don't even know if I'm gonna put my, if I can put my mouth around this, but I'm gonna try. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> you can't even put your mouth over it. <laughs> it's not big as my head. It's really good. See, I feel like all these things are gonna be really good, but it's just gonna be like, you can't eat it all at once. Otherwise, you're just irresponsible. It's huge though. It, you saw it, it's the size of my head. This thing is so heavy. You know what? I'm gonna give this one an uh, eight. I'm gonna give it a nine as well. I mean, they're not bad. These are all really good. It's just... It's a lot of meat. <laughs> I'm gonna need a nap after all this. <laughs> right. On to the next place. Welcome back to my KFC. Go have a cool order whenever you're ready. Certainly. Um, I'm actually trying to order off your secret menu. It's called a triple down. All right, thank you. Took some convincing and explanation. But Literally, got... I understand though why they don't make it often. What is it called? The triple down at KFC. There are three chicken breasts, and then in between that is like lettuce, and this Probably one just mayonnaise. has lettuce and mayo in it, but I don't know if it had tomato or, or anything cheese. of that sort. No freshness over here. It took some convincing to get them to make it because- This is literally just taking three piles of chicken Ugh. and putting them on one of each other. Do you want me to help you and hold it? No, I think I got it. <laughs> you can't get your mouth around it. Mmm. Are you sure there's chicken on there? Oh no. I'm scared to touch. I can't get my mouth around it. That's what she said. <laughs> it's just literally like, oh, I want chicken. It's spicy too. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm just eating chicken wings or chicken tenders. That's all it is. I would have to give this a seven. I'm it's not impressed with this secret menu item. Yeah. I'm gonna give this, this like one a six. Have, uh, yeah, okay, six. I give it a seven just because it's so hilarious. Okay, Oh my God, we are running. We are running mm -hmm. tonight. So a six and a seven for a triple down at KFC. Oh yeah. Hi, how's it going? Um, I'm just trying to order some things uh, from your secret menu. So I was gonna order the Big McChicken. The McChicken? The Big McChicken, which the is- The Big McChicken? Yeah, it's off your secret menu. And then the other thing is a cinnamon melt a la mode. Okay, it'll be 946. All right, thank you. No problem. It's so funny. A lot of people don't know that they have a secret menu, so we're trying to teach them it, and it's even more fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. This is the cinnamon a la mode. There's cinnamon melt, which is like a gooey cinnamon bun. It's just like a bites. cinnamon bun, yeah. And then a vanilla ice cream cone. Here, here's a fork. Oh, they give you a fork. Yep. After this amount of like disgustingness, we want to have a fork. Is that one good? It's really good. Only bad thing is this one melts really quickly. You can't go wrong with ice cream or cinnamon like bites. This one's good. I'm gonna go on the limb. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. This one's like a 10 out of 10 for me too. It's not healthy at all, but. None of these are healthy. What are you talking about? Funny thing is there was a vegetarian option on the McDonald's secret menu. It literally was like bread and cheese though. <laughs> and mayonnaise, and that's all it yeah. was. And we got this one more from McDonald's as well. This is actually good. This final one we got from McDonald's is called a Big McChicken. So it takes that KFC thing, but this one adds beef to it. Look at this one. It's almost- I'm like having a hard time looking at any of this food right now. <laughs> it's so gross. It's a Big Mac, but instead of the bread, the bread is the chicken. So the chicken is a replacement for the bread for a Big Mac. So so it's very similar to the KFC one, but there's beef inside it now. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. I'm not a fan of that one. That one's a five. Nope. What would you give that one? I'm gonna give this like a three. Oh, I can't five and a three anymore. on the Big McChicken at McDonald's. I can't eat anymore. We have one more. We have to go to Burger King and we're gonna get the suicide <sighs> burger. That's the last one. Hi, please. Hi, how's it going? I'm actually going to be ordering off your secret menu, menu uh, by getting the suicide burger. <laughs> Can you pop it in the window, please? It might be the most monstrous one. $13.89. Of course. Okay. Oh, cool. God, you guys are yeah, so yeah, yeah. nice. You want to take a bite? 
So this is probably gonna be heavier than the meat cube. Uh. <laughs> Feel that. Oh my god! <laughs> this is called the suicide yeah. burger. This is twice the size of the meat cube. And I've gotta say, I, are you ready for yo, the I wanna field? see this. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Look but, at this next to our head. Especially your head. You have a pinhead. It's huge. Look at that. Considering how big my head is. Why did I think this is a good idea? I don't know. How are you gonna put your mouth around that? I have no idea. I don't think I can. That was his bite. Can you help with this? You got this? Okay. I can barely get my hands around this. There's no way she's around. gonna be able to do this. I feel so sick. Do it, do it, do I can't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you want to do this today? This was your bad idea. Yesterday was my bad idea. My eyes look like this. Wait, how many patties is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is incredible, actually. I'm on the 10 scale on this one. I have to give a 10 for presentation. So the McDonald's a la mode ice cream, 10 I'm gonna out of 10. I'm going to have to give this one an eight, and I can't believe I'm saying that. It's gross. Take another bite. But as far as taste-wise, and that's what we're judging is taste, I would have to give the suicide burger at Burger King a 10. I get why it's a suicide. That's a heart attack burger. Take another bite. Uh, uh, oh my god. This looks so pretty Look at though. that. Sure. And a sesame seed bun. We just got home and I gotta say I don't feel very good at all. I don't feel good at all either. Some of you guys might be thinking we just waste a lot of food and uh, to that I have to say we probably did waste a lot of fast food. For that what we want to try to do is kind of give back. We went through all the receipts. We spent about $40. So what we plan on doing is we go to Feeding America Dot org and we're gonna go there and we're gonna donate twice the amount so we're gonna donate $80 this isn't a sponsor by the way for every dollar that you give back to feeding America it provides 11 meals to those in need so that's roughly 880 meals kind of justify making this crappy disgusting video guys this isn't a sponsor this is just us wanting to give back yeah in a, in a much more positive way than giving out fast food if you guys do want to donate please click that link below we'll, we'll be sure to provide that <laughs> if you guys have any other secret menu items that you know of other like restaurants, please let us know in the comments and we will try to go check them out. We're actually going to go on a very long run right now. We will see you guys tomorrow as always. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful night. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.